Good morning, children. How are you all? I think you all are fit and fine. Children, in our today's EVS session, I will discuss with you about the role of Mahatma Gandhi and the events that took place from in nineteen hundred twenty and afterwards in Indian history. Beta, we have reached today the lesson nineteen, lesson nineteen of our EVS course book. Name of the lesson is Towards Independence. Beta. In the last session, I have discussed with you that Gandhi ji had returned from South Africa in the year of nineteen hundred and fifteen, and when he returned back to India, he gave a new direction to the freedom struggle. afterwards what was the scenario of india and what role played by mahatma gandhi to achieve indian independence that is the topic of discussion in today's session okay children so first of all i will discuss with you about the role of mahatma gandhi after his return from south africa in 1915 gandhi ji traveled all over the country he felt this would help him understand the problem of the people he was shocked to see the condition of the pe poor people around the country what he found he saw that there were many evils in the society like caste and religious differences so major and prime problem of the society is caste and religious differences along with drinking alcohol by the male members of the society so he decided to fight against the british and also against the social and religious evils so that time what was decided by gandhi ji gandhi ji decided to fight against the british and also against the social and religious evils children today's next point of discussion is jallianwala massacre in 1919 the british passed rollet act beta in the last session i have discussed with you about the rollet act according to this 
not more than five people could gather at one place. So, what is the social condition at that time? According to that law, not more than five people can gather at one place together. On April 13, 1919, many people gathered in Jallianwala Bagh in Amritsar for a public meeting. So, what was the consequence of that meeting? What is the result, outcome? A British officer named General Dyer with his soldiers came to the park, blocked its only entrance. The park was having only an only one entering entering as well as exit point. General Dyer closed that entrance and ordered his soldiers to fire at the crowd. Hundreds of men, women and children were killed while Thousands were injured. This incident came to known as the Chalianwala Bagh massacre. The whole country was shocked by this incident. Did you know, children, why did people gather at the Chalianwala Bagh on April 13, 1919? Beta. In the following image, it is depicting the condition of the garden after few days of the firing took place. Children, look at this image. This is actually a hand painted image that is depicting that days picture what happened after the firing what happened how people were killed mercilessly on 13th april 1919 in Amritsar on the garden named Jaliana, Jalianwala Bagh. Children, now I will discuss with you about the prime role played by Mahatma Gandhi during 1920 and 22. Mahatma Gandhi ji launched non-cooperation movement and the whole country supported him for the non-cooperation movement. Now, I will discuss with you about the non-cooperation movement. What is actually non-cooperation movement? Non-cooperation means not to cooperate, not to cooperate. Britishers, British government who was ruling India at that time. Gandhiji asked the people of India not to cooperate with the British. Indians working for the British government resigned. 
lawyers boycotted the courts and indian children were withdrawn from the british government schools this is the effect of the non cooperation movement in brief now i will come to the point of discussion about actual non cooperation movement look at this image children where in a gathering gandhi ji was addressing indian people and saying that not to cooperate the british government in 1920 gandhi ji launched the non cooperation movement it was a movement where people were asked to disobey the british and their laws peacefully what was mask asked by gandhi ji it is asked it was asked people to disobey the british and their laws peacefully only because gandhi ji believes in peace as well as non violence under the movement people began boycotting british goods means the products produced by the britishers that is consumable indian people started boycotting any consumable product produced by the britishers many students stopped attending schools and colleges people began refusing to work for the british this was a clear policy of non violence and non cooperation against the rules british the british tried various measures and means to curb this movement now people now children sorry now children i will discuss with you about the other young leaders who came forward in the journey of indian independence many other young leaders also joined the movement with gandhi ji they were jawahar lal nehru shubhash chandra bose ji sardar ballabh bhai patel Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad, Sarojini Naidu, and Dr. Rajendra Prasad. In the following picture, children, we are getting the actual picture of Dr. Rajendra Prasad, Jawaharlal Nehru ji, Sarojini Naidu, madam. Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad, Subhash Chandra Bose, and Sardar Ballabh Bhai Patel. Now, children, I will discuss with you about the next step. followed by mahatma gandhi ji to acquire or to achieve the indian independence that is the salt law 
and civil disobedience movement. So next step is followed by Mahatma Gandhi ji is the salt law and civil disobedience movement. The British passed a law that no Indian would be allowed to make salt. What law has been had been passed by Britishers that no Indian would be allowed to make salt. And as we know children, without salt we cannot prepare any food. Gandhiji thought this law was most unjust and decided to oppose it. Gandhiji thought this is a very much unjustified law made by them and we should disobey this. He decided to march from his ashram at Shah Sabarmati in Ahmedabad to a sea village of Dandi at about a distance of 300 kilometer. Thousands of people joined on this journey. That means thousands of people had followed him and give their consent that whatever Gandhiji was doing that is correct decision made by him. This is known as Dandi March. Gandhiji broke the law. Thousands were arrested and sent to jail. Who sent them imprisonment? The Britishers sent them imprisonment to disobey their laws made by them, the laws made by them. This led to the civil disobedience movement. Children, my next point of discussion is about other revolutionary leaders who emerged at that moment of time for the reason behind their emergence is to achieve independence, grab independence, grab the Indian territory from the Britishers because that is our right, that is our country and Britishers were, were ruling on our country as they made us as a slave that Indians or Indian people are not giving consent about that fact because independence is our birthright, we should have to grab it from the Britishers. So, now I will discuss with you about 
other revolutionary leaders. Some revolutionary leaders like Bhagat Singh, Raj Guru, Sukhdev, Chandrasek Shekhar Ajat, and Ram Prasad Bismil came forward to fight for freedom. So, who are the other revolutionary leaders? Leaders like Bhagat Singh Ji, Raj Guru, Sukhdev, Chandrasekhar Ajad, and Ram Prasad Bismil came forward to fight for freedom. They believed that non violence could not win us freedom. So, they people are said to be the extremist. They thought, they believed non-violence could not give us victory or we cannot free, get freedom from Britishers. Subhash Chandra Bose started and formed the Indian Army in foreign countries and started the freedom struggle from there. So, Shuvash Chandra Bose ji reached to foreign land in the abroad and there started, there he constructed Indian Army, Indian National Army and started freedom struggle from there only, from outside of India only. Did you know children who gave the famous struggle, sorry, famous slogan? Jai Hind, the famous slogan Jai Hind is given by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose ji. Children, now I will discuss with you about Quit India Movement. What is Quit India Movement and what is the reason behind that? Quit India Movement World War II broke out in 1939. The British declared war on India's behalf. That is the only reason behind the Quit India movement. The Congress declared that India would not join the war until the British granted complete independence. What the Congress declared and decided at that moment? The Congress declared that India would not fight or join the war until British government granted complete independence to India. The Cong Congress under the leadership of Gandhiji launched the Quit India movement in August 1942. There were violent protests all over the country. In 1942, Gandhiji launched the Quit India movement, demanding complete freedom for India. He asked people to do or die. Karo ya maro. In their attempt to throw the British out of the country. So, through this movement, Indian people tried to attempt to throw the Britishers out of the country. 
many leaders were jailed maulana azad khan abdul gaffar khan and indira gandhi were some of the leaders so what were what was the consequence of the quit, quit india movement the consequences of the quit india movement is many leaders were went to jail among them the prominent leaders are maulana azad khan abdul gaffar khan and indira gandhi beta today's last topic of discussion is that what is the consequences result and outcome after quick india movement consequences of quit india movement is india achieved the freedom ultimately that is the result india wins freedom the british finally bowed before the indians matlab britishers finally haar maan gaye india ke samne unko jhukna pada bowed before the indians they agreed to leave india at that time muslim leaders were demanding that they be granted a separate muslim state of pakistan so at that moment what happened in india muslim leaders were demanding a separate muslim state that is called pakistan the british agreed to their demands and decided to divide the country into two parts pakistan and india on 15th august 1947 india became independent jawahar lal nehru became became the first prime minister of the free india and Dr Rajendra Prasad became the first president of the free india do you know children at the stroke of the midnight hour when the world sleeps india will awake to life and freedom nehru ji do you know children the last viceroy lord mountbatten was appointed the first governor governor general to free india so who was the first governor general of the free india the last viceroy was the first governor general of free india what was his name he was lord mountbatten children this much is for our today's session i will wind up my session with jai hind jai bharat okay children goodbye but this is not the final goodbye children i am going to meet with you in the next session with a new topic till then children take care stay safe